Hey guys, this game here is uh, 3D Dot Game Heroes. Uh, this is a fascinating title, it really is. Um, I think the first time I showed this uh, was probably in a pickups video months and months ago. And um, I gotta say, I've put barely any time into this, and I should have, and I will, <laughs> because it, it looks awesome and, and it is really awesome. Um, what it is basically is a throwback to the sort of 2D Zelda games. Uh, but the way they've rendered it, as you can see on screen, I'll, I'll show the back of the box anyway. Well, that's kind of redundant at this point. <laughs> um, yeah, it's it's built effectively with sort of 3D pixels, which sounds a little strange. But the style is absolutely, uh, it, it's just really captivating, really truly is captivating. And it just, it's what pulls you in, it's what makes you want to play the game. Uh, what makes me want to play the game, in addition to that, is the fact that it is just a, it's basically Zelda for the PS3, it really is. Um, it's got a lot of things in it, I guess you call it fan service, but it's kind of weird fan service. Like there are deliberate translation, uh, translation errors and, and things of that nature that you had in old sort of, you know, adventure games back in the day on the NES and things like that. And it's just really funny to see those kind of things pop up. Uh, there's a lot of references to other games. There's obviously references to Zelda loaded throughout it. Uh, references to Final Fantasy. Uh, there's just so much in it. And of course, references um, to the developer's back catalogue of games. And the developer of this game uh, is the wonderful From Software. Now, they made Demon Souls, uh, which, I mean, I can't make a video that does Demon Souls justice. I don't think there's a video in existence that does Demon's Souls justice, it's just one of those games that you have to play. I mean, um, and I think it's the same for this, you look at screenshots of this, it's like, yeah, awesome gameplay footage, you kind of get the impression maybe it's just a bit of a soulless Zelda game, but it's absolutely not, the music is just phenomenal, it's just chip tunes um, that, you know, 8-bit fanboys dreams are made of, it's absolutely wonderful. Um, so let's have a look at the inside here. Now that's another game on top, but... That's the disc. Um, now, the beauty part of this game, you see the characters there. The beauty part of this game is, uh, as you can see from all that, you actually, uh, when you begin the game, you don't just start with a sort of generic Link character, although you can, uh, but there's about, I imagine, 50 preset characters, and they're all very, very different. Um, and I'll show you footage on the screen while I'm waffling about it. Now, the thing that makes this even better than that, I mean there's so many, such a large variety of characters, but you can even create your own characters, which involves creating your own frames of animation. So for instance, some of the enemies, uh, one of them is a werewolf, that's a preset one, and uh, he's a normal man as he walks along, as soon as you hit the attack button, uh, it loads up basically a model of him as a werewolf, and you know, he's swiping at someone with his paws. Uh, likewise, you can do anything like that yourself, you can make a tank, or you can make a, a guy that transforms into a tank, or, or whatever the hell you want, you can make a guy who shoots with his penis, if you really want to. Um, <laughs> and of course you can make Link, but uh, it's just, it's a fully customizable Zelda game. Now it's got some really interesting gameplay mechanics, I mean it is, a, like I said, a die-hard Zelda game, everything you expect from Zelda is in here, so don't get me wrong not calling it original, um, but it has got a few unique twists. Uh, one of which is the sword. Now, when you attack with the sword, depending on how much health you've got, and I believe this is right, the sword will be bigger or smaller. So as you can see there, that's absolutely enormous. So if you're running around with full health, your sword can often take up like pretty much the whole screen, and it just absolutely destroys enemies. Uh, you've got the sort of typical spin attack that you have in Zelda as well. Um, I think you get a bow, you literally get everything. It, it is Zelda. Um, but it's just a wonderful game, and uh, it's, I, I think it's underrated, I really do. It got reasonable ratings, I think some websites saw it as a sort of 8 out of 10, and, and other ones just cast it aside as, um, a, again, a soulless Zelda clone, and it really isn't, it's it's anything but soulless. Um, I mean, this is one of those games where the soundtrack alone is worth purchasing, and, um, well, I, you know, I hope I've done it some justice here. Um, well, like I said, I haven't played enough to to give you a sort of review or, or a full on sort of diagnosis of the game or anything like that but um... it's just uh... It, it's, it's one of those games that makes a good first impression well let's, we'll say it's one of those games that's may it sort of makes or breaks itself on its first impressions and you either get completely sucked in like I have and then give it a shot and realise it's absolutely wonderful or again yeah you look at it and think hmm, it's a sort of retro style game in HD which looks a bit, like I say, soulless and empty. Uh, and the issue with it is, it's got a big overworld like Zelda, uh, and when you're creating footage, like I am here, it's difficult to give an impression of all like the individual dungeons and how unique they are and the different puzzles, because they take a lot of time to do. 
and you know I can't uh, unfortunately chop up footage in a quick enough fashion to really give you a feel of what this game's uh, got to offer. But I hope you've enjoyed me uh, rambling on here, and I've made some degree of sense. Um, and yeah, if you like what you see on the screen, um, I, you know, fish this one out because it's fantastic. Father. No!